Hey everyone, Matt here with FlightTrajectory.com. I just logged into my YouTube channel this morning and saw I hit 500 subscribers. So I just wanted to send a big thank you out to all of you guys who've subscribed to my channel. And I wanted to make a quick lesson uh, also to show my thanks and appreciation to you guys. Lesson 6 is actually already halfway done as well. It'll be about talking to air traffic control. Um, for this lesson though, I'm going to just show you guys how to start a Cessna in Flight Simulator. All right, so here's the cockpit of the 172, and here's what it would look like when you step in and the plane's completely shut down. So on the bottom left corner here, we have the ignition switch, and it's divided into off, right, left, both, and ignition or start. Um, so the 172s in most general aviation planes have two completely separate ignition systems. There's a right magneto, left magneto, and both. Once the plane's running, we're going to leave it in both. Um, and then over here, that's your start. And it's spring-loaded just like in your car. You turn it to start, wait until it starts, and then it just spring-loads back to the both position. Um, to the right of that is your battery master switch. Um, it's actually divided into two separate sections. There's the alternator and the battery. Anytime we use the switch, we're going to turn it, use both sections of the switch. So either they both come on or they both come off. We're not going to independently move them. The only time you would indep independently turn one of them off is uh, if it was checklist driven, some sort of electrical problem, that kind of a thing. Uh, here we have your fuel pump, beacon, landing light, taxi light, nav light. You guys can read. Um, avionics master switch over here controls all your radios on and off. So during the starting process, we actually want to leave that off um, just because it's all voltage sensitive equipment. So we don't want the voltage spikes affecting it. So we want to make sure that that's off. Um, then here you have your throttle and your mixture. Um, this 172 is actually a fuel injected 172 um, so the procedure might be a little bit different for how you'd actually prime it versus a carbureted 172 there would norm in a carbureted 172 there would be a separate primer um, usually over by the ignition somewhere around here um, and you'd have to prime it first before you start but um, this one's pretty straightforward anyways so I'll just give you the basics of starting up the plane so first thing you do when you climb in, you're going to turn the battery master switch on. Um, when you turn it on, you're going to make sure that you know a couple lights will come up. And then on the turn coordinator here, that's actually an electrical gyro. That would start to spool up and you would hear a humming sound coming from that as soon as you turn on the battery master switch. Okay, so we're going to turn the beacon on now because we want any time we're starting an engine, you want to have the beacon going, and that's the flashing red light. Um, so we're going to turn that on now, and then we're going to take the mixture control. Right now it's pulled out all the way to lean, um, which is cut off. We're going to push it all the way full rich to start it. Um, and here's where we would prime it, but we're not going to worry about that now since this one's fuel injected. I'm not sure how it would, it would work with the fuel pump anyways, um, or if you even need to prime it with the fuel injected models. So also now on the throttle, you want to take it from all the way closed, which is pulled out. You want to push it in just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch or so. Um, once you've done that, you can come over to the starter switch. Um, oh, also over here in the middle, make sure your fuel tank selector is on both, not set to off. If the fuel selector is on off, the plane's not going to start. And then you're going to stick your head out the window and yell clear prop, and then uh, turn the key over to start and hold it on start. And it fires right up. Then once once it's running, maybe if you had the throttle in a little too far, look down at your RPM gauge. You want to bring the power back to about 1,000 RPM. Um, you can even bring it to idle, but um, usually about 1,000 RPM is a good place to let it sit on the ground. All right, now at this point in time, turn on your avionics masters, and you notice you get your GPS and all your radios. I'm going to turn that a little brighter. All that power is up, and now you can use your radios again. Okay, so the shutdown procedure is pretty much the exact opposite of starting it up. 
a um, little bit different, couple variances. Um, the first thing that you do is you turn off your lights, um, except keep the beacon on because the engine's running. And then the nav lights, if we had those, we would only need those on at night. Um, since it's daytime, those are off anyways. But if you're any your landing light, taxi light, if those were on, you want to turn those off. Um, lights off, turn off the avionics masters because we're going to do a magneto check. Um, so again, it's about protecting the voltage sensitive equipment. So turn off your radios. Um, and then for the magneto check, what we're doing is we're going to turn the ignition key all the way to off and then back to both. And the reason we do that is we're checking to make sure that the ignition system is working and that when you turn the key to off, that the plane does indeed shut down. Um, if one of the magneto grounding wires was broken, when you turn the key to off, it would keep running. So this is just a, a safety check to make sure that everything's working like it's supposed to. Left, right, okay, I'm going to turn it to off, start shutting down, and back to both. So it is working. And then I'm going to adjust the throttle to get the power back to about 1,000 RPM. Now, we always shut down using the mixture, and the reason for that is that we want to burn up the fuel that's left in the carburetor. Um, and we do that by leaning out the mixture. You could shut the plane off using the key, but then the fuel stays in the carburetor. And then if something did happen to one of those magneto grounding wires or fault in the ignition, if you go to move the prop by hand when you're pulling the plane out or something like that, you run the risk of it starting up on you. So we always want to make sure we um, shut the plane off by pulling the mixture all the way out. So I have the throttle set. It's about 1,100 RPM right now. You can do it at idle. Um, but we usually don't because we want the uh, engine to burn up all the remaining fuel in the carburetor. And if you had it at idle, sometimes it doesn't burn up all the residual fuel. So just bump up the power just a little bit. Grab your mixture. Pull it all the way out. And it shuts down. Then now that that's done, we can come and turn off the beacon light. Turn off the master and turn the key off and take the key out. And that's it, starting up and shutting down a plane. Once again, I want to say a big thank you to my first 500 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Uh, keep leaving comments on, the, uh, on my videos. Let me know what you want to see me do in future lessons. Like I said, the next one's going to be about air traffic control, how to talk to air traffic control. Um, and I hope to be cranking out more videos and, you know, I know that I haven't been completely consistent with how often they come out, but uh, I'm going to keep working at it and keep sending you guys videos. And thank you very much, and thanks for watching.